But yeah, first off, I guess just take us back to the 90s. You know, you both started out really young in the industry. Just what was it like adjusting to the spotlight at such a young age? And and I guess what surprised you when you when you did kind of hit this level of fame? You know, did, did anything kind of catch you by surprise? That's a good question. Um, I was eight when I started the business, so I was very young. Um, <laughs> It didn't really land anything um, big until Dreams. And so I was, what, 17, 16 when I got Dreams. And um, it it was a slow go as far as the rise to fame. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So I didn't find any surprises. It really didn't... um, Everybody from Dreams was was good. Um, the fans were fun and young, and so it wasn't anything crazy. Um, we were never like not able to go outside that kind of thing. So we never, I never had that experience, and still to this day haven't. Um, I, I'm surprised at the longevity of the the love of the show. Um, mm. It really shows a lot of heart in people that they just go back to that nostalgia so quickly. And that makes me happy, but that was 30 years ago for us. It's crazy. <laughs> How about for you, Jenny? <laughs> yeah, you know, um, I also started when I was really young and I didn't really land anything until I was 18. So I used to always say, oh, you know, when I was in my acting class, they were putting, you know, so-and-so booked this role and this role. And it was like, Jenny goes to the prom. And I was mortified. I was like, (laughs) oh my God. And then by the time I got onto Dreams, it was really interesting. All I'll say is back in the day, this is prior to internet and everything. When we started getting fan mail, um, it didn't happen simultaneously like it happens now. You know, like everything Mm. is so instantaneous. Back then, when that started happening, it was like, oh, people can actually see you. Like, it's it's a weird thing to come into people's homes, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but it wasn't anything like Kelly was saying. It wasn't like, hey, we're Tom Cruise walking out down the street and, like, being mobbed. But it was interesting just to kind of know that people would know who you are, but you wouldn't necessarily know who they were, right? Mm. So it, it was just an interesting sort of time and... Yeah, we're just really lucky that, um, you know, that we are still, you know, relevant to this day because people really want some some feel good nostalgia, you know, so we're lucky. lucky. When you do go to, you know, fan conventions and stuff like that now. I'm almost curious, do you, do you find you almost have a bigger following now when you're at these events than maybe what you experienced while you were on these shows back in the day, just because the nostalgia factor is so there. Everyone's coming to these events specifically to see and meet people like you. I'm just, yeah. what what's that like? I don't know. Do I- when we were on the show, you know, there was that element of going to malls in New Jersey and being chased into <laughs> chased out of the mall. That was fun. That doesn't happen now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, do, I do love talking to the fans now because they are so kind and just so it, it is, I, it takes me down memory lane too, just like it does them. So I enjoy those conversations now more than I did then. It was just mm. a different level. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny, like when I go to conventions, I'll go right now primarily for um my animation work and yeah. it's funny because sometimes the kids will come up and they'll be like oh, oh oh i love avatar my mom loves california dreams i'm like oh my gosh this is crazy that you know at first i was like oh my god i'm really old and then they're like uh you've been in this business a long time you're very lucky so i'm right. like yeah 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 We're really <laughs> lucky to have that span and it's funny because i will have people come up and they're just like we love California dreams. We're so, you know, they just, they, they're so excited. And actually I get really excited when that happens because then I know I'm like, you know what, we're really lucky, you know, (laughs) again, that this has lasted such a long time. Yeah. And, you know, for, for Kelly, you know, you have four kids. What is it like for them to revisit some of your stuff? I mean, have they, I guess, is, is the question. <laughs> yeah, they, they love watching the show. I think they know the episodes better than I do, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> I love that they have found it and that they 
they think their friends should know what it is. I'm like, oh, honey, no. <laughs> 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 maybe their parents <laughs> maybe their parents but yeah no so they love it it's so fun to watch it with them and you know back in the 90s i'm curious if there were like you know faux rivalries between different shows or like the tgif versus the saturday morning cruise like what was it like kind of interacting with other people that were also in the similar situation as you back then <laughs> Any of you want to answer that? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think inside there's always that sort of, of healthy rivalry. But I remember, <laughs> actually, it was fun. Sometimes we would sometimes have to do different promotions for TNBC, mm -hmm. and we get to cross over and do that. And then there were a couple times when, and I'm really not that athletic, but we had to <laughs> do a couple game shows. Kelly, she was really good. Uh, we'd have to do a couple game shows against some of the other casts, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I was like, oh my gosh, this is this is ridiculous. But <laughs> you know, again, that healthy rivalry comes out. And um, but I remember also too, once in a while we'd be filming at the same time, and sometimes we'd be next door on um, sound stages. Okay. Um, so you know, that was <laughs> nice to kind of see other people once in a while, and then just kind of have our own crew you know when we're filming but yeah just kind of like that i mean it was all fun we were all young and um <laughs> of really interesting kind of to revisit that you know and i'm curious do you run into people now that you you know haven't seen in 30 some odd years and you, you do get a chance to catch up at some of these events outside yeah. of your big event coming up which i will ask you about in a second of course. that's right that's right <laughs> Yeah, no, Jenny was just on a, a show, uh, a cooking show, and, and was reunited with some of our 90s friends back in the day. And so it's been fun to to watch that interaction. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll it's run so weird. I'll see people and it's just, it's, it's just takes you back to a time, you know, yeah. even if we see Mario Lopez, it's like we go back together to the beginnings. And it's just, it's crazy how you can, just, like I said, just go right back there. Yeah, and like how also to kind of add to what Kelly's saying, um, back in the day, there weren't a slew of young teenage shows. Um, yeah. These were sort of the very first um, paths of these sort of type of shows. So maybe there was just a handful, like there was Saved by the Bell, there was California Dreams, and then, you know, soon you had, you know, In the Heights and Beverly Hills 90210. Um, so I think that's also something that is really relevant because the fan base back then had something to really, really connect to mm. um, that was really specific that, you know, not to say that we have a lot of, you know, teen and kid shows now, which is great, but that's something that they could really find a bond to. Um, and I think that's what makes it really memorable because there weren't so many that, you know, you either like Saved by the Bell or you <laughs> like California Dreams or whatever the case may be. It's just people really, really connected with that. I watched them all, so. <laughs> and yeah. now the band is getting back together. We have 90s Dream yeah. Fan Fest coming up in October. Just Yay. what were the conversations like to make this happen? I know you all have done kind of smaller reunions throughout the years, but this is the first one with everyone. I just... How did it come about and, and what has it been like getting ready for it? <laughs> I think we can honestly say that this started probably 10 years ago, Jenny, when we went to a concert, right? We went yep. to a concert of a, a popular girl band. <laughs> and Jenny and I both were like, you know what? We could do this. And <laughs> that sort of st that started the whole movement. And then... Next thing I know, right before COVID happened, we were planning this concert in Los Angeles. And much to our surprise, it was a huge success. Mm -hmm. And we were really flattered by that. And it was so much fun that we thought, well, maybe down the road. And then time, COVID, all the all the things. And then we got back together and decided, let's try this again. Let's try it in New York City this time. So Jenny's done all the legwork. She is just a beast when it comes to producing. Uh, but the fact that we have every single castmate coming still astounds me. Right. I've seen Diana since we wrapped. So I'm just as excited for this moment as probably the fans are. <laughs> yeah, That's and I, I definitely... I, 
I, I wouldn't do it and I couldn't do it without Kelly. Like I just, I'm getting chills. Like I, I couldn't do it. And so this time around, because we were supposed to do a little mini tour after the Los Angeles tour. And, you know, mm. of course, you know, with all the circumstances, it just wasn't the right timing. So when this came about, um, New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, the UK are our huge markets. And that's why we're just exploring the East Coast, which should be really interesting. And the fact that the entire cast is here, like Kelly was saying, it's it's kind of insane. And when we announced that the entire cast was is going to be there people have just been going nuts you know our fans and then as people are learning about it they're like wait a minute what um so i think it's going to be really fun and it's during comic-con weekend so people are like wait a minute but it's comic-con yeah exactly the city's going to be <laughs> popping right you could come see us <laughs> in the evening people are always looking for things to do so mm -hmm. it's going to be a really really fun kind of crazy time and um <laughs> we're down for it we're down and for it. Is there a possibility for more of these for a tour like you were initially planning? Or we'll see how this one hey, goes. Listen, or... <laughs> who wants to bring it out? Like we're ready for sponsorship. Like we're <laughs> let's do it. Uh, we'll see. You know, you never know. You never know. I think we're all on board because it's so much fun and we enjoy being yeah. together. And do you get rusty throughout the years? Do you have to like get back into the rehearsal space? How not easily does one. the muscle no, memory not. come back? <laughs> no, not Kelly and I. No, no. <laughs> we're we're good. We could just bounce back into it. I can't say for our other cast members, I'm kind of kidding, but no, no, we can handle it. But we're gonna rehearse. Don't worry, you guys. We'll totally rehearse. <laughs> we'll need to rehearse. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> just a just few warm-ups. You'll be good. <laughs> exactly. I think Some most of the fans too can sing along with you at this point, also, they which has to be nice. <laughs> And uh, Jenny, I had one last question for you specifically, just because I know I think it's okay for me to bring up your voice work on Avatar, but I'm curious for you, just how you feel about the live action TV show that's coming out. <laughs> I, you know, same, yeah, same way that, um, you, you know, all the California Dreams fans are excited about a reunion. It's interesting. Um, people constantly ask us about how we feel about the live action coming up. And you know what? We're just as excited. We don't know what it's going to be like. I actually, one of my friends is in the live action. Like if people okay. know the Cabbage Man, they love the Cabbage Man. Um, but um, yeah, so it's going to be really interesting. I'm looking forward to it. The people who they've cast to do the parts, it's pretty incredible. The um, young girl who is cast as Suki, she looks exactly like her. So yeah, we're all anticipating it and supportive of it. And and uh, I'm looking forward to coming and seeing it and maybe meeting some of the cast. Um, I know that um, the one of the, I say the young ones contacted Dante for some advice, which was so <laughs> super sweet. That's nice. You know, it's like passing the torch. Yeah, it, it really is like passing the torch. So. Yeah, I'm excited to see what happens. And, you know, the Avatar universe is 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 crazy right now. It's, it's just people are really excited. And now let's just hope everyone gets fairly compensated for that show. Hey, <laughs> hey everybody needs to get paid. You know, we're all here trying to, you know, hustle here. So totally, yeah. Well, I want to say thank you both for your time. I can't wait to see video from this event. I'm in L.A., so I can't make it out to New York, unfortunately. Yeah. But I will be looking out for the footage. I'm sure we will be posting it. I know we'll be talking.